Trigonometric Equations, Part 2. We've done this before. The only difference is that there's no 0 to 360. There's no set domain here. So we're solved for sine of theta and it doesn't say anything about a domain. Well, there's our answer. Been there, done it. So that means that sine of that is that and sine of that is that. But if you use your calculator, you'll find sine of these all also gives you that same answer. Why is that? Quite simply, they're all coterminal with the 217,7. Remember, coterminal angles you get by adding or, or subtracting 360 degrees or multiples of 360 degrees. We are not saying that that and that are the same angle. They are by no means the same. But they have the same terminal point. They both end at the same point, which means they have the same x, y, r, the same sine, cos, tan. Let's go on to another one now. Notice, no domain, so we must solve for everything. So we set it up. Tan positive, first and third. Key angle, 45 degrees. There are answers. Now, we haven't finished yet, because we've been told that we have to solve for tan theta equals 1, and there are other angles where tan theta is equal to 1 as well. So, let's have a look at 45. There we are. Add 360. Add another 360. Take off 360. Take off another 360. 2 to 5, we can do the same. So there we are. There are another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 6 is 12 answers. So now we have 14 answers. But we haven't finished there. What if we added another 360 on here? What if we took off another 360? What about if we took off 50 360s? Still correct. Oh dear. Well, we can put it in words. Let's say 45. Plus or minus any multiples of 360. That sums it up, eh? We're adding 360s, or we're taking off 360s. Same here, so therefore that has the same. That's pretty good, because that sums it up pretty well, and that gives all the answers. I'd hate to write multiples of every time. I really would. So let's try to find an easier way to do this. How about... K360 or N360 or P360, where we say that that is a whole number or a counting number. There we are. Plus K360, plus or minus K360, plus or minus K360, where K is an element of counting numbers, whole numbers. We usually use K, some use N. K and N are usually used, but you can use any letter as long as you define it there. Now, I still don't quite like it because they're plus or minuses. I'm sure we could go further with that. And we can, because even better, I'm going to write just plus K360. But now I'm not allowing for the minuses, but I can here, because what allows for minuses there? Yes, integers. So there we are. All the negative or positive whole numbers. So this says plus or minus any multiple of 360. The plus or minus is housed inside the fact that k is now an integer. So we have a name for this. This is the general solution. Generally meaning all possible answers. Let's try another general solution. Tan theta equals positive. We're going to set it up. Quadrants 1 and 3, tan positive. Now, before we even touch our calculator, we're also going to slot in our general solution. There we are. We even left space for it. 
and we write that once. We write k element of z, it must appear in the question or else the mean teacher will remove a mark. Now we can find the key angle, just using the calculator. Shift tan 2.309 equals. And there are our answers and that is everything. Don't need to repeat k element of z, we've said so. Let's do another one. Cos equals negative. Well, that negative, there are two things. That means we need to decide what quadrants cos is negative in. And we must also remember that we don't enter that negative when we're finding the key angle. So, setting it up. Second, third quadrants. There we are. Second, third, 180 minus 180 plus. That's where cos is negative. We are going to put in the general solution with the k element of z. Now, we're going to find key angle, but don't enter the negative. Am I harping? I hope so. I hope you're sick of me saying so. There we are, 83.8. There are our answers. Don't enter the negative. is still a bit of a ghost there. Now, there's something about general solutions that could cause a bit of a collapse where you think that you don't know what's going on. Maybe I give my answer there, then I look in the book and I see the book's answer is that. Oh, no, I don't know what's going on. But hang on now. Just wait, wait, wait. K is an element of Z, which means plus K gives all multiples of 360 plus or minus. Minus K also gives all multiples of 360 plus or minus. Well, minus or plus, I suppose, if you like. They're the same. Let's have a look at this one. Oh no, now this is collapsing material. Have a look. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I've got it wrong. I've put that. But wait, if I add 360 onto that one, I get 48 degrees. If I take 360 off there, I get minus 312. It really doesn't matter where you start with it, as long as you define the same set. It's just considerably considered neater to start with the positive angle. So if you wrote that, 10 out of 10 gold star. Another one. Oh no, now definitely I don't know what's going on. I've got this, and look what the book says. Gee, but now have a look. First of all, it's plus K360. The book says plus K180. Let's get back to that. If I take 48 and I add 180 degrees, I get to 228. And if I add another 180 degrees, I'll get to 408, which is 48 plus 360. This is only happening because 180 is half of 360. And because these are exactly 180 apart, this is happening. If I add 180 onto the 408, I get 588, which is that one plus 360. So, in fact, instead of stating this separately like this, I could say, well, 48 plus K180. That plus 180 gives me that. That plus 180 gives me 408. That plus 180 gives me 588. So, in fact, that's the same thing. If you wrote that, the book says that 10 out of 10 still gold star. Let's have a look here. Same thing. Oh, I have that, and look what they've got. But have a look at minus 48. If you add 360, you get 312. So, in fact, all this is doing is avoiding having to write plus K360 twice. But this is exactly the same thing. If you give that your correct answer, this is considerably considered to be mathematically neater, maybe um, the books will usually have that rather than that, but 10 out of 10 gold star, maybe a platinum star if you write that, that is fine. The, the moral of the story being that when you think you may have it wrong compared to the book's answer, just make absolutely sure, if necessary, ask your teacher, because you may be right. Right, let's just do a few of those. 
pause, try them, click play to see the answer, pause again for the next one. Right, still general solution, but a bit of an extra thing here, and that is that we now have a 2 theta. Now, this is going to highlight how selfish sine, cos, and tan are. They are very selfish functions. Once they have got hold of an angle, they will not let it go. You cannot get rid of it at this stage. Grade 12. You will learn there are formulae to do it, but they're very complex. So to get rid of this involves quite a bit of surgery. So you cannot take that two out while the sign is there. So therefore, you're going to have to eliminate sign first. So I'm going to do general solution, but I'm going to do it for two theta. Now when I do general solution for two theta, I must do full general solution, setting it up and everything. You cannot just find the key angle. Divide by 2 and then think you can do a general solution. You will fail. So, setting it up. I'm going to write 2 theta equals. Where's sine positive? First and second. There we are. General solution. And now I'm going to do shift sine 0 0.672 equals. You find the key angle. There it is. And so there we have our answer. But don't forget, this is 2 theta equals. I want to get down to theta. Solve means find theta alone. So now I've got to get rid of that 2. 2 is multiplying theta, so it must divide that. It must divide that. Now when it divides this, note 1, 2 terms. That must be divided by 2. That must be divided by 2. When this is divided, that must be divided by 2. That must be divided by 2. And that is why, while we understand that, half of that, we must also have K180, because that is halved. Half of that, and then K180, because that one is halved as well. Some more practice for you. We'll do little bits along the way, but see if you can do the whole question. First step. Lots of people try to get rid of the 2 first, but everything about it, you need to divide through by the 2, and that means 1, 2, 3 terms will be divided by 2. So you'll get rid of it there, but you must have a 3 over 2, and that divided by 2. But generally in equations, if we have 2p plus 3 equals something, we'll subtract the 3 first. So let's do the same. There we are. 2 sine x equals, and I've said that, minus 3. Now at that stage... I can get rid of the 2. The sign isn't clutching it. It would have to be 2x. So it's outside the sign. So that's fine. I must get rid of the 2 next. So doing my division, there we are. Negative 0, 5, 9, 4. Now I'm going to set it up. And get my first, first solution. Well, there we are. 180 plus 360 minus. That is where sign is negative. Notice k360, k element of z. And simplify. There we are. Have a look at the next one. What did I tell you about sine, cos, and tan to do with this? They are selfish. You cannot get rid of the 2x unless you eliminate sine, uh, cos first. Next along the line, you have to find a general solution and you have to set it up for 2x. You have to find all answers for 2x. So there, 2x equals... Now, where's cos positive? First and fourth. So there we are. General, the key angle, 35, 3. General solution, k element of z. Which means now, that's what 2x is equal to. Now, I divide by 2. And don't forget, these need to be divided by, divided by 2 as well. There we are. Next one. This one here. Once again, tan, like sine and cos, is selfish. You cannot get rid of this 2. Without getting rid of the tan. Tan is holding on to it too tightly. 
But you can and must get rid of that 3 first. 3 is multiplying, so it can divide. So therefore, I'll have that tan 2x equals, I've divided by the 3. Now, I need to find 2x. I have to get rid of tan. And when I get rid of tan, same as here, I need all possible quadrants, both possible quadrants really, I suppose, and general solution. So have a look, there we are. Where is tan positive? First and third plus K360K element of Z. Simplifies to there. Now I divide by 2X, remember everything, and that's why I end up with the K180s there. If we look at this next one, same thing, cos of X plus 30. Cos is very selfish. You cannot do anything. You can't take away that 30 while cos is holding on. Forget it. That certainly we must move, so that's going to go to the other side. But that we can't do, we have to eliminate cos first. And when you eliminate cos, remember, general solution, all quadrants. There we are, I've subtracted 0, 0,6 on the other side. Now I have to do a general solution for x plus 30. There we are, where's cos negative? Second quadrant, 180 minus. Third quadrant, 180 plus. Each plus K360 for the general solution and K element of Z, the ones you have to put it in there. Simplifying that, we end up with X plus 30 equaling that. Now I can subtract 30. It will subtract from both. So there we are. And please notice that... 126,9 and the 30 degrees are the like terms. Yes, we divided both by 2 there. That's division. That's distributive. Same here. But here we're subtracting 30. So it subtracts from the like term, which is that one. This stays K360. That stays K360. We're not subtracting K30. So there we are. Subtract 30. There. Subtract 30. There. There is your final answer.